Okay, year 12, uh, as requested, question 12 and 13 from the Uniform Acceleration uh, Worksheet. Okay, question 12, let's get the diagram done first. Okay, here's the diagram. Uh, apologies for the writing. It looks even worse than normal uh, on this little screen. Right, so we've got three points, A, B and C. We know that at time zero, we have a velocity of u and an acceleration of a. At b, five seconds later, we've travelled 95 metres. And two seconds after that, so that's time, is seven seconds, we've travelled another 80 metres to c. And that's all we know. There seems to be a distinct lack of information here. And there is. In this question, we're going to have to use some simultaneous equations. Okay, so first thing we're going to look at is the journey from A to B. Okay, so what do we know for A to B? So we know that the distance is 95. We know the initial velocity, u, is u. We know that v, the final velocity, well, we don't know that. Uh, we know the acceleration, sort of. A and the time is 5 seconds to get from A to B. So time equals 5. Right, so we want to work out in this question, we want to work out what's U and what's A. So I need an equation with those in it and the other two things that were given in the question. So I need something with S, U, A, and T. I want to avoid this because I don't need to work it out. And there's no mention of it or nothing in the question that's going to help us with that. Okay. Okay, so in this question, we're going to use s equals ut plus half at squared because we want to avoid using v. All right, substitute in and we get 95 equals 5u plus 12.5a. Okay, so I have an equation with two unknowns, u and a. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to look at the journey from a all the way to c. So this, and I want an equation with two unknowns in it, u and a. Then we can solve it like we would have done back in GCSE maths. Solve a simultaneous equation, u and a is the two variables, or unknowns. Okay, for A to C, what have we got? We know the distance travelled, S, the displacement, is going to be 175 because it's that total distance. I know that U, the initial velocity at A, is U. The final velocity at C, don't know. Acceleration, A, is A. And the time to get to C is 7 seconds. Okay. Now I want to make sure that we've used A to C and not B because we never knew the velocity at B. So I wouldn't have had an initial velocity for B. Okay, so that's why we're going to stick with A to C. Right, so again, we're using S equals UT plus half AT squared. And when we substitute everything in, we get... We get that, 175 equals 7u plus 24.5a. We've now got two equations, two unknowns, u and a. Okay, so we're going to use some GCSE maths now to rearrange the two equations and substitute in. Okay, there's our two equations. So what I'm going to do, there's loads of ways you can do this, but I'm going to rearrange equation one, this one, um, so that I've got u equals and then substitute what u is in here into equation 2. Okay, so rearranging equation 1 I get u equals 19 minus 2.5a. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to substitute 
this value for u here, this, straight into here, and then solve to get a. So when we do that, we get 175 equals 7 brackets 19 minus 2.5a close brackets plus 24.5a. This really doesn't do anything for my handwriting. Okay, do a bit of jiggery pokery, move things around, and you should end up with. 42 equals 7a, which means a for acceleration equals 6 meters per second, or second squared. That was supposed to be a 2. Okay, first bit done. Hard bit done. Then all we do is substitute this value 6 meters per second. I'm going to put it back in here into the equation one. Okay, so you're going to get, I'll do over here, 95 equals 5u plus 12.5 times, oh, that's not a very good multiplication sign, times 6. Okay, you end up then with 5u equals. 20, so u, initial velocity, is 4 meters per second. Well, handwriting's terrible. Okay, and that is question 12. Don't forget about your units in your answer. Underline it, let the examiner see your two final answers are. Tricky one, that one. Okay, question 13. And our super fast cat, which is travelling at a velocity of 25 meters a second, very quick cat, um, and it overtakes a car. Two seconds later, the car obviously takes off because it wants to run it over, probably, uh, and it starts accelerating at a uniform six meters per second squared. Okay, so it takes off in pursuit. So this car has been stationary, which means it has an initial velocity of zero. The cat isn't accelerating. Okay, so it's just got its U, its U and V will both be 25 meters per second, no acceleration. Okay, so the first thing we've got to think about is the diagram, okay? Okay, so there's my rather poor diagram. So we've got B, which is the car, and A, which is the cat. So after two seconds, the cat is 50 meters in front of the car, and the car starts moving. So it's got initial velocity of zero, it's got an acceleration of six, the cat is trucking along at 25 meters per second, so when does the car catch up? So we need to think about time. This is a tricky question. We need to do a little bit of thinking here um, about this before we fly straight into it. We know that after two seconds, the cat has this lead. Okay, so it's 50 meters in front. Okay, so what we need to do is figure out when the cat displacement, which I'm going to call S A for the cat. Okay, so when is the cat displacement? equal to the car displacement. Now the car displacement, I'm going to call SB. Okay, so I want to find an equation that has, tells me what SB is, that displacement. So when is that displacement equal to the displacement of the cat? But the cat has a 50 meter lead. So I need to incorporate that into my thinking and my equation. So I need to know when is the cat displacement equal to the car displacement plus 50 meters to make up this initial difference here. Okay, so I've got the car displacement. So let's say we, we finished over here, co it caught it up. I need the displacement plus 50. Okay, right, let's look at the cat first. Okay, so for A, right, what have we got? We know that the cat displacement, S, A, equals, oh, that's not very good equal sign, well, we don't know what that is, its initial speed is 25, its final speed will be 25, uh, its acceleration is zero, and the time, we don't know, 
Right, so I want to work out what this is, but we're going to have to use this as well. Okay, so let's find S. Let's use S equals U T plus half A T squared. Okay, so put all the information in we know. Well, it's going to be S A equals 25T plus acceleration zero. So that's going to be nothing. So the displacement of the car is 25 times the time. Okay, we've got our first equation. For B, the car, same equation, so we've got SB equals UT plus half AT squared plus this 50 meters. Now, I didn't write my SUVAT values. Um, initial velocity is zero, acceleration is six, time we don't know. But the time it catches up with it has to be the same as the time for the cat. Okay, so substituting those values in, we get SB equals initial zero, so I get zero plus half times six times t squared plus 50. Simplify that. Displacement of the car is 50 plus 3t squared. 